Hi, this is Carmen and Kevin from Kind of Cooking, and today we're making a Taiwanese specialty, gua bao. This is the perfect bun. Like, it is sweet, it's savory, it's rich. It's everything you want. Like, honestly, you cannot ask for a better bun. It's usually eaten during festivals and celebrations. It's in the shape of a little wallet, like a little coin purse. And so that's to symbolize that's gonna bring you great fortune. So eat tons. Actually, <laughs> I don't think you can because we're using pork belly. And so with the pork belly, you're gonna want to find the thickest cut of pork belly you can get. Um, yeah, kind of like mine right there. So the next step is to make your marinade. We're going to use rock sugar. We're gonna caramelize that and this is gonna help us give that little hint of sweetness and also to give us a nice color. A little bit of water. Now that we have our desired color, we will thin it out a bit for the sauce. After that, we add our Shaoxing cooking wine. Next, we're going to add in our light and dark soy sauce. We already mix them together in this container. So once that's done, you can put that aside to cool. And for your spices, we have cinnamon, white pepper, dried chilies, and star anise. You want to toast them in the pan lightly on low heat until the fragrance come out and that's when you stop and put it aside to cool down. We can also prep our scallion ginger. Very simple, just cut a few slices of ginger and roughly yeah. chop up your scallions. Big chunks, it's okay. You're going to want a nice thick piece of pork belly. Traditionally, there should be five layers. I think we have five. Skin, fat, meat, fat, meat. So that's five. All right. No one wants a hairy pork belly, so we're gonna burn all the hairs off. It's much easier than using tweezers. Okay, so we're gonna slice this in strips now. It's much easier if it's cold and with a really, really sharp knife. Oh, yeah, the other thing is you can scrape off all that hair that was there. So we're gonna cut to the size of our bun, but cut it larger than your bun because these things are gonna shrink. And if you don't do that, you're gonna have a really, 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 really small piece of meat. I cut a really big bag uh, so I can fit all of this in. Carefully place this in a single layer with some space. Next step, take all your goodie sauce here and pour it in. So all that work to make the layers, useless. Okay, let's pour all the sauce in. And then get it to all to the bottom. Make sure that they all just clump up. No, I'm just kidding. Try and get them back into one layer. So scallions are gonna go in. A couple slices of ginger. All of that goes in. We have our spice bag. Open it up as much as possible. And put all of the spices in. And tie it around. This goes in here now. Okay. One layer as much as possible, as much of the liquid at the bottom as possible, and put it in. If you have a pulse function, this is the time to use it. If you do not, then I recommend you cut your bag a little larger and don't even bother to vacuum seal it. Just clip it off the side and that's it. And as always, double seal. 
Let me show you my goods. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. <laughs> Let me show you my pork belly. This, this one. Okay, single layer as much as possible into the sous vide. Floats. Sous vide or sous vide, however you want to say it, at 107 degrees Fahrenheit or 76 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. Fast forward to the next day. We're going to make the pickled mustard green that's going into our gua bao. In Chinese, that's suan cai, so that's like sour vegetables, kind of like a Chinese sauerkraut. That's going to cut the fattiness and the balance out the flavor of the pork. These pickled mustard greens, you can buy them at the Chinese supermarket. So these are specifically mustard green that have a very specific flavor. Soak them for 10 minutes, drain it out, and then wring them so all that salt comes out and then soak it for another 10 minutes. So this is my final 10 minutes right here. All right, while that is soaking, we're gonna work on our other ingredients. It's actually very simple. We have some garlic and one chili. The last time we made it, we added two chilies and it was way too spicy. You can use the red Thai bird's eye chili. You can use this green one that I have. I believe this is also Thai. This is what I have, so that's what I'm gonna use. Just peel all the skin off. We're just gonna mince them. All right, I'm gonna just put these through a press because I'm lazy, but this is actually a very useful tool. I don't like garlicky fingers. I don't think anybody does. And we're just gonna dice this chili up. The soaked mustard greens are ready. I'm going to drain it and wring it out and then we'll dice it. Chop these up finely, especially the leaves part because they get really big and would get caught up. So cut this up nice and fine. We've actually made the suan cai before in the Taiwanese beef noodle soup. And that recipe, if you haven't seen it yet, it is amazing. So go check it out. And this suan cai is so good with any rich, fatty pieces of meat. It just cuts all the fat out and balances it out so well. So here, the amount of suan cai that I have is actually more than you need for the gua bao, but I like making extra and just keeping it in the fridge. Um, just putting on rice and eating as a little side dish, it's beautiful. So the reason why you want to cut it finely is because you don't want suddenly a giant chunk of suan cai in your gua bao. The focus is really the pork. Warm up some oil on medium heat and add your chilies. Stir fry until fragrant, then add your diced preserved mustard greens. Fry for three to four minutes, then add in your minced garlic. Toss around to incorporate and cook for another three to four minutes. Give it a little taste and you can add salt or sugar to adjust the flavor. Set aside. We also blitz some candy peanuts for our toppings. You can go as fine or coarse as you like. You gotta keep this liquid gold. Very carefully pour it. Mmm, that smells really good. We're going to remove the pork from the bags. Ooh, look at this fatty piece of pork here. All the layers here, all the nice fat. So you need to be careful when you're removing it from the bag because some pieces are tender. They might have shifted a bit. So you can see there's like a nice fat separation here between fat and the liquid. We don't want any of the fat. We're just going to strain this out into our, our... Pan. Pot. Pot. Sauce pin. Sauce pan. And then we'll cook it down. All right, so that leaves with you with just the fat. You don't want that, it clogs all your arteries. Not good for you, because that stuff is okay. This stuff, mm-mm. First thing we're gonna do is just bring the sauce to a boil. Uh, we're going to strain out all of those little um, coagulants. 
those will solidify and then we're going to strain it out. Otherwise you have a lumpy sauce. Not much today. So all we do is pour us back in again. To bring it to the next level, we're going to add some sugar, about that much. Five spice powder, and give that a mix, give it a good mix. We're going to go in with a little bit of a cornstarch slurry because our sauce is already salty. If we continue to cook it down, it's just going to get saltier and saltier until it's inedible. So using the cornstarch slurry will help us to achieve what we need. So let's go in. About that thick, see how it nicely coats the spoon? That's what we want. All right, so I have these buns. I did not make them myself because I am terrible with doughs. So I bought them. They're frozen, it's much easier. We're gonna make them now. Normally these things are steamed, but we're gonna try to do something a little different today. We are going to make a crispy bottom. It's something similar to what we did for our dumpling recipe. So we're gonna need a couple of things aside from the buns. We need some oil, some water, and a lid and frying pan. Put some oil in the pan. So we're gonna turn this pan to a medium. We're gonna take our bun. We're just gonna put that in there, give it a little swirl. And this one too, give it a little swirl in there. We're gonna let that heat up just a bit. Okay, you hear that little bit of crackling? No, probably not. It's okay. So we're gonna add our water. And that's to steam it. And then we're gonna close the lid. When the water has almost evaporated, remove the lid. Now we just wait for the bottom to crisp and hopefully not burn. So we're about there. Let's give, give you a peek. Is it brown? All right, so once it's brown, we can take it off. Our pork is still a little hot, so we're gonna use a brulee style. If your pork is no longer hot, you can fry it on your frying pan, brush a little sauce on, fry the other side and get it nice and crispy, or you know, just cook it, just get it warmed up again, it'll be good to go. So since ours is a little warm, we're gonna brush some sauce on here. And brush it on nice and good. And now to assemble, we're gonna open up one of these guys. I'm excited. This is the first time trying this method. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of cilantro on the bottom. Starting with the meat. You're going for the big one. Yeah. The big one there, the big mama. Some suan cai, the pickled mustard greens. So keep in mind that this thing is salty, so mm -hmm. don't overdo with that. All right, and then just gonna sprinkle some candy peanuts on. Okay, mine's done. Some of this. Some of I dropped all the cilantro outside the bowl. Ready? Bun cheers? Bun cheers. Boom. Mm. Mm. That meat is so tender and good. Mm. I took two bits of a bite. <laughs> I love how all the flavors just mm -hmm. melt together. Mm -hmm. The pork is the, melting your mouth super tender. The crispy bun adds a little nice texture there. It's a little salty if you eat it by yourself. Mm -hmm. But when you put it in here, because the bun itself is like a little very subtle sweet flavor, right? You actually need more. I thought it would be too salty. <laughs> if you like this recipe, check out our YouTube. We do a lot more of these kinds of recipes. Also hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and leave us some comments. Let us know what you've done. Uh, we, we would always love to hear from you. And thank you to ISVA for inviting us for this presentation and giving us a chance to teach you how to make this pork. Belly. Belly. Gua bao.